Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the NTLDR missing error you're getting on your Windows computer. This method will not involve the use of any external media like DVDs or CDs. So this should be a pretty quick and straightforward tutorial to boot. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu. And you want to type in services. One of the best matches should say services. You want to left click on that. And again, this will work for Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices as well. First thing you want to do is go to the background intelligence chance for service right here. Double click on it. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic, delayed start, or automatic. And then if it says service status running, you want to left click on the stop button right here. Once you've done that, you want to click on OK. Now you want to go down to get to the Windows Update Service. Right here, double click on it. Same deal, startup type, you want to make sure it's set to automatic or automatic delayed start. And if server status says running, left click on the stop button right here. Once you've done that, click on apply and OK. And now at this point, close out of there, open back up the start menu, and now you want to type in computer. One of the best managers should say this PC on Windows 10. For Windows 7 and Windows 8, it should just say computer. You want to left click on that. And now you want to go underneath whatever drive Windows is installed on. For most people, there should be a little Windows icon appearing above a hard disk. You want to double click on that, and it should say local disk in the name of the drive as well. So double click. And now you want to go underneath the Windows folder. So again, double click on that. Scroll down to get to software distribution right here. Double click. And now anything listed in here, you want to just highlight over. So using your left mouse clicker, just drag over all these items. Right click and then left click on delete. You can also use the delete key on your keyboard as well. Once you've done that, I would recommend you guys restart your computer and hopefully that resolved your issue. If that did not help you, I'm gonna have a link to this following webpage in the description of the video. And I'm gonna open it up right here. This will offer you some troubleshooting help through Microsoft. And you wanna download the respective version for your version of Windows. So I'm gonna use the Windows 10 one because I'm on a Windows 10 machine right here. Once it's done downloading, I'm going to open up the file to run it. It's going to show what it's going to look for, and you're going to select Next. Now, depending on which download you select, it might be a little bit different, but we're going to see that it says issues might be found troubleshooting with administrator permissions. If you get a screen that looks like this, try troubleshooting as an administrator. And I'm going to select Next. So it might actually recommend that you download pending updates. I'd recommend applying the fix, but just to speed up this video a little bit, I'm just going to skip the fix. But just to give you guys an idea, if you do see any recommended fixes, I'd recommend applying them as they come up on the screen. Okay, so this troubleshooting has completed. I would recommend you restart your computer as well at this time. Hopefully that will resolve your issue, and you can see what additional items this will scan for as well. So definitely nice to know about. 
and I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.